protest. Tinubu called for a revolution against Jonathan. He should not blame others now that he is facing the same thing. Afeni Ferrer. Pan Yoruba Social Political Group. Afeni Ferrer has warned President Bola Tinubu to stop directing blames away from himself following the end hunger protest against his administration. Afeni Ferrer reminded Tinubu that he called for a revolution against former President Goodluck Jonathan, hence he should not apportion blame now. Prince Justice Fakiyese, National Publicity Secretary of the Afeni Ferrer faction, Loyal to the acting leader, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, said the president's speech did not address the real issues of the nationwide hunger. As he said, It is the same thing that happened under former President Goodluck Jonathan, and he, Tinubu, called for a revolution or protest, and when he is facing the same thing and even worse, he is blaming other people. We never believed that just calling for a dialogue would change anything. He has never changed. I think he was pushed to read this speech because it was not a matter of dialogue or him addressing people about the exact policy that brought hunger and since he is not willing to reverse or accept responsibility because he more or less said it was politically motivated when he started and he specifically said that subsidy is dead. He said you can protest as much as you like. He said that he knew that his policies were going to bring protest at his age he knows that there are that there are that there have been all sorts of protests against subsidy removal. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when you upload daily content here on this channel and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this. Now, let's see what other people have to say about this. So Jonathan is from minority tribe, right? No problem. The sycophants we have today in the name of our own, let us not protest. Nigeria is bleeding with hunger and poverty. This is just one year out of many. When power is sought and found, the first requirement is to control that power. Having obtained it, we must search for ways to make it serve us safely, not blame each other for having discovered it. So it was Tinubu that called for protest and revolution against Jonathan. The same Tinubu is cracking down on those that are doing what he did in 2012. Wonders shall never end. I can't understand some people. Any word or action against the president is taken to be sponsored by Atiku and or Obi. However, protests cannot change anything until we have handled self-deceit, propaganda and every form of bigotry. Afeni Ferre, is it subsidiary our problem subsidiary issues? Subsidy issues is never our problem. Our problem is self-president is doing his work well, but we are not getting spoilers. And Fanny Ferry is number one and the businessmen in politics. Nobody sees the bad administration of Buhari. Tinubu should do the same bad government. You who see it Buhari government as bad have never talked. Subsidy removal and Naira devaluation is a big tragedy to Nigeria as a nation and it is so barbaric, absurd, and uncalled for. It is not yet over. Let the president take the Naira devaluation and return the subsidy in order, in order to allow peace and love among the citizens. President Bola Tinubu should know that there is not any position that is permanent in life. I pray that God Almighty will touch those that are in the position to do the needful and correct every mistake Is this a sort of revenge mission or a reality vibe? Honestly, I find this absurd. Let us be objective. Tinubu is too inept to govern Nigeria. Just imagine a year of your administration. Nobody could see the bad administration of Buhari again. 
This statement is not from Afeni Fere during the GEJ regime. During the GEJ regime, Tinubu and Buhari came out to lead the protest. There is no state where a government or private property was looted. No one embarked on damaging or burning government, private or PDP properties. They did not call for military coup or holding foreign flags. Do you want to compare it with this faceless protest where the sponsors Atiku and PTRB could not come out to lead the protest? Go to the north and see the damage done to these properties. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily content here on this channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this.